Hello there, lovers of natural history. Bob Ellis here with another episode of Notes from the Field. And as you can see, I'm not in the field. I'm in my office. And I'm in my office to interpret a little bit of video that James Holder, our collection manager, and I shot about two weeks ago. It was a warm October morning, probably 10 o'clock, 80 degrees. And we were walking along when we heard a rattle. That unmistakable rattle of a rattlesnake. And it was behind us. We had walked past a coiled up Arizona black rattlesnake and never even noticed it. So we went back and shot this video. I shared this video with rattlesnake expert Harry Green and Harry told me that the snake is a male Arizona black rattlesnake and it's probably doing one of three things. It's looking for a rocky crevice in which to coil up and ambush some prey or it's looking for prey that it's already bitten, and uh, Harry told me that whenever rattlesnakes bite their prey, they leave a tracker molecule that the snakes can follow the prey and then subsequently eat it. Or the snake is tracking a receptive female. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. One fact that uh, I discovered while researching this video was that the range of the Arizona black rattlesnake fits almost to a T the exact boundary map of the Muggion Highlands ecoregion. So if there's an iconic animal out there that, uh, that represents the Muggion Highlands, maybe this is the one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it and look forward to bringing you another episode. In the meantime, go ahead and click that um, subscribe button down below and or, and or go to our website where you can uh, hit a donate button to keep content like this coming your way. Thanks again.